Grand Canyon National Park. We've all seen it in movies and on postcards, the famous Grand Canyon. It's one of the most stunning and popular tourist attractions in the country. Grand Canyon can be easily accessed through nearby areas like Phoenix, Las Vegas, Williams, and Sedona. Let's begin with the entry to the Grand Canyon. You can access the canyon through different sides, although the west and south rims are more common. The visitor center is located at the south entrance if that's one of your preferences. As you enter, you can explore the Grand Canyon via two paths. If you want to drive around, take the Hermit Road leading from the west rim to the Grand Canyon Village. The drive is only open from December to February. In other months, you have to use the Grand Canyon Park shuttle buses. The second option is to take the Desert View Drive, which is open year-round. It begins from the Visitor Center and goes 22 miles all the way to the Desert View Watchtower. Both drives are exceptionally scenic, offering unique perspectives of the same area. If you want to view the canyon from the top, book a helicopter tour with one of the local companies. Although the landscape and rocky terrain are the highlights of the Grand Canyon, there are many other things to do at the National Park too. If you come from Williams, you'll find yourself at the Visitor Center. Here, you can enjoy different displays showing the park's history and importance. The staff is quite friendly and always eager to answer your questions. Take the path to the Mather Point Overlook from the Visitor Center if you want to take pictures. Rim Trail If you don't mind walking long distances, take the Rim Trail, which is a paved path going on for 13 miles. It starts from the South Kebab Trailhead and goes to the Hermit Road. The path is shaded by trees, providing a scenic view of the Grand Canyon that will be stuck in your memory for years to come. Geology Museum If you'd rather stay indoors and learn more about the local rocks, head over to the Geology Museum. It houses many interesting exhibits collected by local geologists in the past century. Inside, you'll find many diagrams that explain how the canyon formed and became what it is today. You can also see the Bright Angel hiking trail from one side of the museum. The hiking trail spans 19 miles and will take you around two days to complete. If you're not staying overnight, take the shorter Indian Garden Campground Trail, which is 9 miles and takes about 9 hours to reach. We have to warn you though, the path is pretty rocky with the elevation changing every few steps. When leaving the Grand Canyon, take the South Rim side as it offers the awe-inspiring view of the Little Colorado River. Here, you can also buy handmade jewelry from the local Navajo artist. You can make your whole trip a wonderful experience by booking things in advance. If you plan on spending the night, the Grand Hotel has well-furnished rooms with a rustic vibe.